I. It's um five minutes to seven evening, no less. Time for for dinner soon. Um, I hope I'm getting this through. Actually, I have not checked it. Let's help see if it's okay now. I hope so. Sit forward. Um, I promised you, and I broke, um, that it would be uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, and today is Thursday. Um, it's a um, it's actually a, it's a, a very short but very important story. I mean, really, it has to do with the family ring. And I hope my God, this comes out correctly. After, uh, and by by now you know I had uh, interest through hemorrhage and, and so on. And um, I imagined to climb out of that cesspool and deal with um, pieces of crap, human crap. And there are an awful lot of people who are crap. Um, I felt so low financially. I just sell the family ring, the finger ring, so to speak. Um, I always wore it on that finger. It's an important ring, and this co-relates to the hemorrhage stuff. <laughs> Everything in my freaking life does, you know. When my mother died of the hemorrhage, and this was not a callous thing my father did, but he had them remove some of the diamonds of their wedding ring. And what he did create is the family ring. I don't know the metals involved, but they're treasured and very expensive. Uh, even back then, that ring he crea created was worth around $20,000. But it was a ring that expressed his passion for his wife, my mother. In his will, I actually took care of my father in the end. It's funny have to change your dad. It's the reverse. I am. Um, At one time, you are his child, and in the end, he becomes your child. I came to love my father. Whatever love means, there was a relationship. In his will, he, um, he gave me that very treasured ring he had created. He loved her, you see. He was very passionate towards her. It was no one other than his mother. Of course his children too, but he was passionate towards his his wife, my mother. Gonna cut the story short because it's emotional to me. After the hemorrhages I had, the surgeries, falling into aphasia, which they call demasia, which is full of crap, you know. I had to put up with so much. There's no one there. Except 
and the sheer luck of Heidi. That aside, before Heidi appeared, and there were happened to be problems thereafter, but before she was there, I had fallen down into nothing. How disgusting. Every time I turn on the CBC, I hear nothing but glory and wonder is, is full of crap. I had to sell that ring. Now you get it. You, you think about this. I had to sell a most treasured thing, that family ring. I had to go to the jeweler to sell the ring for me to survive, to pay a, to pay a monthly sum of money to the nut, that crazy, horrible little man. I had to sell that ring. The, uh, uh, it was valued at $20,000. And the little shits, you know, the jeweler would only pay 10% for it. So I was had to leave that jeweler's store the check to the tune of two thousand dollars for a family ring oh, was worth twenty thousand dollars it's one of the things that bother me no one gives a shit there's no compassion nothing Nothing. That's how I feel, you know. If I could, and on the side, and I hope Justin would never hear of this, but if I had the ability, and now things have changed around, I must tell you, I was this way, it's that way, but now it's a far more, well, quite different. Should I find enough money, I would have a, 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 a ring, a family ring, look very much like it. And I would, through my sister, I would give it to her, but then protect, send it to, present it to her son, Justin. It'd be with a lie, but it's not. It's what it should be. It's a family ring. I want Justin to know that it was his grandmother's ring, wedding ring, that became my father's ring, that was provided to me, willed to me. And then to my sister, and then to him. It's like really important. Our last name is Troy, T-R-O-Y. That's a rather grand name. And I would like to see my nephew. I don't, if I said cousin, it's not cousin. My nephew. I would like to see him where 
I can only tell you what the crap I have taken through life. But I would have provided him with the family ring that essentially I should not have had should have sold. A lot of people makes me make me wanna vomit. So many cunning horrible creatures exist out there. They don't know that they think they are justified in them being what they are. Anyway, this is going to come in because this is kind of emotional for me. That ring. Some terrible thing I did was to have to sell a ring in order to survive from a, a brain hammer. Doesn't that strike you as odd? Don't you think that is kind of should not have happened? The reality is the vast majority don't give a shit. Um, as I said, originally said, I apologize could have done this uh, yesterday, but I am saying it today. Um, you will hear me again uh, this coming Sunday. So I thank you for listening to me, and um, 